an outlaw. That one I've never stupid. understood. Yeah. Poor bulls also. Topping today's health cast, researchers have now discovered the first genetic marker associated with the severity and the progression of multiple sclerosis. Neurology specialist Dr. Daniel Cantor says the finding does offer some real hope for the nearly 3 million Americans globally, people globally rather, who suffer from this incurable disease in which the immune system attacks the central nervous system. This can tell us that the gene is responsible for making a protein. Now maybe we can develop a medication that can stick to that protein and have an effect on it, and maybe this can lead to more therapies. Dr. Cantor says current medications on the market right now, they really only target the relapses of MS. The incurable disease can cause permanent damage, though, to the brain, the spinal cord, and optic nerves. Our recent study finds that sleepless, uh, sleeping less than six hours a day may actually reduce the protective effect of regular physical activity against brain decline. Researchers from University College in London, they looked at a decade of cognitive function in nearly 9,000 people over the age of 50 in England. The team found that people who were more physically active but had short sleeps, less than six hours on average, had faster memory decline overall, meaning that after 10 years, their brain function was equivalent to peers who did less physical activity. So what's the moral of this one? Researchers say the study shows just how important it is to consider both sleep and physical activity together to support your brain health.